Hey everybody, welcome back to The Garden Geek. This is Patrick Albin, and today I would like to give you a tutorial on how to resize images in iPhoto that you can use on The Garden Geek in photo albums or blog postings or wherever. So, as it turns out, a lot of cameras' default settings um, create these very, very large files. And if your camera has been set to uh, a setting that creates these large files, a lot of times in different places around the site, um, it won't be able to handle such large image sizes. So what you need to do to be able to get them onto the site is to resize them. So what you need to do is go into one of your favorite photo sets or a set that you've got some images in that you'd like to reuse and pick an image. Then come up to your drop downs and do file, export, and it'll give you this dialog box. And here you need to adjust a few of these settings to be able to get in and change the size of your image. So under kind, you want to set this to JPEG. I always recommend using a high quality image. And you'll see that the size is set to full size by default. Set that to custom. And within here, you can set the dimension. And we're going to work with the width. Set the width to 550 pixels because this is a maximum size that you might want to use on blogs or in your photo albums or wherever, but 550 pixels is the maximum width that you would use for a blog, so we'll just go ahead and set it to that. And then you just simply click Export, and you can create a new folder out on your desktops or anywhere on your computer, and um, you can set this to whatever, so My Garden Images, and go ahead and save that image out to it. And that's that's pretty much it right there. If you go out to your desktop, you're gonna be able to go into your, um, your folder, My Garden Images, and you'll see that image that you've just created there, and you'll see that it is now set to 550 pixels by 413 pixels high. And now you can just upload these into photo albums or blog postings. So there you have it. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact me. I'm Albin on The Garden Geek, or you can email me directly at albin at thegardengeek.com. That's A-L-B-I-N at thegardengeek.com. So that's it. Thanks uh, for listening, and I look forward to learning more about you and what's growing on in your garden.